should be a good couple days with Philly coming to town. Uh, we're their hosts, they're our guests. So we're looking forward to having them out here, having a really good productive days of work. Uh, met with Coach Sirianni and his staff last night, got the two coaching staffs together uh, just to get ready for today and go over the plan uh, and all those type of things. But I think it'll be really good for us. This is a, a playoff team. Schematically, they're very different on offense. They're very different on defense. So I think that's really helpful for us to get two solid work days uh, against each other and then the game obviously on Sunday. So looking forward to that. Uh, I, I'm sure you have questions uh, about the Deshaun uh, suspension news and settlement news. Um, and, and I'm happy to answer them, uh, but I'll be respectful of, of the process. But with that, I'll take any What's questions. What's your level of relief that you have clarity on how many games you're coming out? Yeah, I, I think you're right, Tony, in that throughout this process, trying to be respectful of it and then knowing that there would finally be clarity, uh, I think is helpful for us. Um, and, and then we just kind of stick to our plan moving forward. Yeah, Mary Kay, I'm, kind of, I'm more so in the focusing in, in the moment, really. But like I've told you, uh, and, and we're excited about Jacoby and, and have a ton of trust in Jacoby. Uh, and, and when Deshaun is ready, we'll, he'll rejoin the team. Will he play Sunday? He will not play. Let me ask Ben, why is he practicing so much this week? Yeah, I think part of it, Tony, is, is making sure that we get a lot of work for Jacoby, for Deshaun, because eventually he will be playing. Uh, and we want to get a good look at uh, some of our scheme versus another scheme, if you will. Uh, but ultimately, as we transition out of this week, uh, Jacoby will get uh, really all of the reps. Yeah, I mean, why, there are some players being here just to play with uh, Deshaun Watson, like today being the one that's going to uh, So how, how do you handle now that you know what you expect? How do you sell this to the team without even still knowing? Yeah I, understand. yeah, I understand the question, Mary Kay. I would tell you uh, this is a team. The guys have trust in each other, uh, and, and I know they have trust in Jacoby, uh, but, but ultimately this is uh, the, the best team game there is. Kevin, you've said you're, you're comfortable, you're confident in Jacoby, now that you know it's 11 games. How confident and comfortable are you in Jacoby as a quarterback for 11 games? Yeah, uh, same. <laughs> I think uh, been around him for now since April, watching him practice. Uh, we're confident in his abilities. What was your reaction when you got the closure? will be 11 games. What was your reaction when you got that news? Uh, yeah, I think all along, Daryl, I've kind of made sure that I kept any of those type of news at bay and just was awaiting the, the, the final words. And then I could make sure we have a, a plan in place. So uh, we're pretty comfortable with how we're operating right now, uh, knowing that we'll get to Sean back uh, after 11 games. I think you know that's something we've talked about. Uh, I know you guys have asked that, and, and it's a, f a fair question. I, I do think our players do a really nice job on focusing on the things that they can control, and that's what we'll continue to do. I wouldn't get specifically into what we've talked about, but you're absolutely right. I mean, in any um, situation, there's always an opportunity to, to make the best of it. And I think this is an opportunity. And, and I think Dee uh, spoke about that. I know she, Dee's committed to it. The Haslam family's committed to that. Uh, and I know I am, as a head coach of this team, committed to bettering every single one of our players, uh, if we can, and coaches included. Kevin, now that there's some resolution to this, so what is your message to the fans out there a lot of them uh, just in our daily lives that feel upset that they can't root for this team right now based on uh, the trade that you guys made. Yeah, Jake, I, I, I understand the question, and that's something that uh, we talked about uh, when we first acquired Deshaun. I, I will tell you, I think the support from our fans has been unbelievable, uh, not just out here at practice. I think throughout the community and my interactions with them, it's, it's been uh, uh, They've been very, very supportive. Uh, I'm respectful of people that may feel differently. I, I am. Uh, I understand that. 
uh, but I'm just going to continue to play my part in making sure that uh, they have a team that they're proud of. On, on the subject of playing your part, what would your role be that hasn't been in the very good speak about going forward uh, with Deshaun and uh, the opportunity for him to rehabilitate? Those are their words, not mine. Mm -hmm. So what will your role be with Deshaun as far as maybe some of the off-the-field uh, type of things to help him move forward and, and yeah. become a better person? Yeah, there I think for all of our players, uh, I want myself, I want all of our coaches to be people that help them in their career to be a better football player, but it's our job to make them the best version of themselves as well. So that's something that, that's what we do as coaches. Uh, when you have your position meeting room, th those are your guys. When you're a coordinator, you have the offense and the defense that are special teams. And my role is to make sure that for all 85 guys on the roster that I'm providing anything that they need to make sure that they're getting the best out of themselves. Yeah, I, I, I'm really comfortable, Mary Kay, with, with our plan and how we've uh, operated uh, with the uncertainty. Uh, but now that we have certainty, I, I feel good about where we are. Uh, I feel good about getting those guys ready to play because ultimately, like you mentioned, uh, when Deshaun is back and ready to play, uh, we're excited about that opportunity for him. Uh, but there was a lot of work that needs to go in prior to uh, September 1st. And Hudson's available to you until August 30th. Will his workload decrease significantly from the in the practices, yes, in the repetitions of practice, but not in what he's doing here in the building. So more working off to the side uh, than taking uh, the reps, per se. I know, Gavin, we always uh, said, we, we've seen you talk about his personality a lot. Talk about what kind of leader he is in the locker room, in the meeting room. How's that? Yeah, Jacoby, as you guys get to know him better, and, and I'm, I'm getting to know Jacoby as well, but. I think back to when we were acquiring Jacoby, just the phone calls that I made to people that he's played for, people that he's played with. Uh, it was very, very consistent in that you're getting a pro's pro, somebody who's going to lead from out in front, uh, works very hard at his craft, and is just an outstanding teammate. Kevin, I know before you talked about having different plans based on the severity of a possible suspension. I guess like what's happening later in training camp now that there's a final resolution. But do you have to change course at all now? To one of those other plans, or are you kind of able yeah, it's a good question, Ashley. So I would tell you, yes, we've pivoted at, at times in, in this, try, trying our, my best and our best to, to, to understand what ultimately the ruling may be. Uh, but where we are is, is really where we wanted to be in terms of the number of reps that we've gotten, uh, all of our guys. And, and uh, I think that's inclusive of uh, Josh Dobbs and Josh Rosen. Kind of the exact date Deshaun comes back or about halfway through the suspension? I, I don't. Week five, six, I'm seven, not sure. I don't know. He will not. Yeah. And will you be in communication with him uh, during the suspension? You are ABC. Or I will obviously. I'll look over those rules when that occurs. I, I don't think so, Jeff. But uh, I'll make sure when it's time that we're in full compliance. Yeah, I, I think Mary Kay. I would. I'm going to let Deshaun speak for himself. I could just tell you from my interactions with him, from uh, the time he's walked into this building, sp have spent a lot of time with him uh, on the field, in the meeting room, outside of normal you know, practice settings. Uh, and I know that he is someone that is committed to growing as a person. When the trade was completed, did you ever envision you wouldn't have him for 11 games? I, I think, Tony, we kind of went into it understanding that there uh, was potential to a suspension, but uh, I wouldn't get into you know, ultimately where our thought process was. We understood that it was a possibility. Kevin, when you talk about Last Deshaun being a better person and the organization you refer to as being remorseful, I think even you might say that one. Um, then he says completely innocent. Do you have a hard time just kind of reconciling those things? Yeah, I think, Scott, again, I'm going to let him speak for himself. Uh, and again, with all of our players, I've been pretty consistent in, in telling you guys that conversations that I have with them and those type of things, I, I keep internal. He is not, but expect him back soon.